It was a bit of a snap decision, really, because I was in New Zealand and I didn't have any like, forward plans to travel. Uh, but I had time, so I just went on the internet, looked on the Frontier website because I came from my school. And, yeah, I wanted to choose something where I'd never been and doing things that I'd never done and doing lots of different things for a long period of time. So, yeah, that's fine. It's really different to anywhere that I'd ever travelled before and um, completely different culture to anything that I'd ever experienced. And I'd always wanted to go to Mexico because I had a Mexican teacher. We went to a school in Honduras, which was probably the most amazing thing I've ever done, ever. I had the best time and I was teaching grade two really cute little children and tutoring one girl individually for a while and it was just so nice to, they were really cuddly and always talking to you so it was really really nice probably how like welcoming the kids were and how much they wanted to cuddle you and give you things and um, how much they really wanted to be at school because I don't think I was really expecting that um, also, I did a homestay whilst I was doing the volunteering, so that was amazing because the people that I was ill when I was there and the people that I met there were just so nice to me. And she's like a hundred mum, so yeah, really like her. <laughs> oh, just a lot of love for hundred people, if that makes sense, because I think sometimes you don't expect people to be so like to look after you so well but then obviously when you're in the in the time when something goes wrong or you're struggling they really stepped up and really helped me and I think I really gained like a massive respect for those people and they always they gave me things that they didn't necessarily have to give um, and just really made me feel really welcome so yeah a lot of love definitely the food street food mainly um, balayadas from Honduras, they were the best. Um, yeah, the food and the street food, and just like the busy atmosphere in the streets, it could be a bit daunting, but it was so much fun, so lively and colourful all the time, so I really miss that. My favourite country was Guatemala, um, but I think, yeah, my favourite country was Guatemala because it was so colourful and we did so much there, but I had the best time in Honduras, so it's kind of hard, it's between Guatemala and Honduras. We started in Mexico, went down to Guatemala, uh, then we travelled obviously through Guatemala and into Nicaragua and Honduras, and then uh, down to Costa Rica, and then yeah, I did like a little independent trip down to Panama, but then yeah, that's where I did on the trip. Um, my favourite thing, apart from the school, because obviously that was amazing. Um, it's probably scuba diving when we're in Honduras because that was just so much fun, so different and yeah, it was just amazing. Just saw loads of moray eels which are absolutely terrified of me but our dive instructor thought that was hilarious so like searched them out for us. Um, like big scorpion fish, quite scary. No, it was just so good.